Welcome back to the Lego Club Show. Were you wondering who made all these awesome stop-motion Lego Ben 10 movies? Well, it was Patrick Boyvin, a French-Canadian writer, director, and animator who started out making his own comics 15 years ago. Well, we had a chance to talk with Patrick and find out how he makes all his movie magic. Hello, I'm Patrick Boyvin. I'm a director, and I am the creator of the Lego Ben 10 stop-motion animation clips. Hey, Patrick. So all the Lego Ben 10 Alien Force animations take place inside a boy's bedroom. Can you show us the set that you used to create them? This is inside the set. And this is behind the set. We uh, built the whole room inside of a studio so we can have more control over the light. Also, uh, we were able to animate 24 hours a day if we wish. So you made all the Ben 10 movies using stop motion animation, right? Can you tell us what stop motion is? What is stop motion? Well, if I want to animate the arm of this character, I want, I want the arm to do something like this. I will have to move a little bit like this, take a picture, like this, picture, and so, and so, and so, and then if I put all those pictures back to back, it will go like this. Is animating in stop motion very different from making a live action movie? Technically, you can do everything you want in stop motion. As long as you take your time, you think about what you're gonna do, you can do whatever you want. Uh, which is approximately the same with live action movies today because with all those special effects, you can do a lot of things. But in stop motion, it can cost you less. You could do stop motions in your own uh, easily and without having to put a lot of money in it. Did your work before you went into animation help you with what you do today? Before I went to movie making I was a cartoonist so I used to draw a lot of things. Uh, maybe it did help me a lot with uh, the way I, I shoot things now because I, 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 I think about my films uh, in a very graphic way because I, I used to, to draw a lot. Why do you like to use toys as the actors in your movies? Well, if you want to learn how to animate, it's a good thing to start with toys because they are easy to animate they will never argue about something uh, and most of them are not expensive so good actors also. So what's the secret to animating a character so it looks like it's really moving around? Well the secret is that you, you have to think about what you're gonna do before you do it. You have to think about what move you want. If you, you want the character to run, uh, think about how you run, how this character could run. Uh, go on the web, check some clips about people running and then you, you will understand the principles of running so you can easily match this with your character in animation. And that goes for every kind of movement. What's the hardest part about making a stop motion movie? Well, everything is hard in stop motion. But I think the hardest thing is to decide if the shot you just animated is good or not. And if it's not, you have to start over again. And this is a hard decision to take because you know it's going to be a hard process and you did it, but it's not good. So. Hey, when there's a doubt, there's no doubt, so you start over again and that's it. Were there any especially tough shots to get just right? Well, definitely it's the shot where Jetri gets in the aquarium because it's a mix of a lot of techniques. Um, green screen, uh, I had to also move the water with a lot of things and then I did a combination with 
the animation of the character, the aquarium that I shot, uh, and all this. But I'm pretty glad about the result. It's worked. Now, what's your secret for making great stop motion movies? Well, I think that the real secret is to have a good idea. Uh, because there's no real point about showing, showing your animation skills. Uh, because a lot of people are good in stop motion. So, I think if you have a good idea, then however you will animate, this is gonna end uh, fun because your idea is great. So, this is my secret, a good idea. Well, thanks, Patrick. Do you have any final words of advice for all those aspiring animators out there? Well, take your time to think about what you wanna do and take your time to do it. That's it. Stay tuned to legoclub.com for more from this super awesome episode of the Lego Club Show.